Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install PyCharm on your Ubuntu operating system. So the prerequisite of installing PyCharm on your Ubuntu operating system is you need to obviously have Python installed on your Ubuntu operating system. By the way, if you don't know PyCharm, PyCharm is a Python based IDE. So on this IDE, you can uh, develop your Python projects, right? So if you are using the latest version of Ubuntu, uh, like I am you might already have Python which comes pre-installed with your Ubuntu operating system so just open your terminal by just pressing ctrl alt T or you can uh, search for the terminal in the applications and you can open the terminal here and once the, your terminal is open you just need to write Python 3 and then hyphen hyphen version right so you can see I have uh, at the time of making this video Python 3.8.5 which means I can install PyCharm on my Ubuntu operating system. So before installing PyCharm we need to uh, see which version is the latest version at the time of making this video. So just open your favorite browser and search for PyCharm and the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm. So just click on this link and once you reach to this website you can see straight away this download button here and on the top also so you can just click on uh, this download button we are not going to download the PyCharm from uh, this website I just want to uh, see which is the latest version at the time of making this video so at the time of making this video the latest version is 2020.3.3 .3, which we are going to install and we are going to install the community version of PyCharm which is for pure python development okay so now we know which version to install we can just uh, minimize the browser and open our terminal once again let me clear the terminal and here we are going to use a utility called snap snap is a package management system using which you can install and manage different kind of uh, softwares and packages right so you can just write uh, snap find and whatever you want to find so we want to find pycharm here so i'm going to just uh, search for uh, pycharm and then press enter and you will get this kind of result so you can see you can uh, download the pycharm community version pycharm professional version and pycharm educational version so we are going to download the pycharm community version and the version available here is 2020.3.3 .3, which we have seen on the official website also so to install pycharm using snap you just need to write sudo snap install and then the name of the package you want to install in our case this is pycharm hyphen community and then you need to give this hyphen hyphen classic flag here so just write hyphen hyphen classic and then press enter and give your Ubuntu's password and then press enter which is going to start the download and the installation process for the PyCharm IDE. So now as you can see the PyCharm community edition is installed on my Ubuntu operating system so I can close this terminal and now I can open the PyCharm IDE by just going to the applications and then I can uh, directly see the PyCharm menu here or I can just search for it. So I can see uh, this PyCharm menu or you can just uh, search for PyCharm and then click on this icon from here. And for the first time when PyCharm starts on your Ubuntu operating system, it's going to uh, show you this kind of window which says import PyCharm settings. So if you have previous versions of PyCharm installed on your Ubuntu operating system, you can uh, import those settings into your new PyCharm. Otherwise, you can just leave it as default, which is do not import settings and then click on OK, which is going to start the PyCharm IDE. And now I can see this PyCharm has been started on my Ubuntu operating system. So I can maximize this IDE from here. And then I can create a new project or open a project using PyCharm or I have some other options here. 
So let's create a new project. So I'm going to just click on a new project uh, button here, which is going to give me this kind of window. And this will be the location where your uh, project will be saved. By default, the project name is Python project. I can change it to hello or something, but I will leave it as default for now. And then uh, you have uh, the option to choose your new environment using virtual env and uh, this will be the location for that. Also, you can see the base interpreter right now is Python 3.8, which is the Python version which is installed on my Ubuntu operating system. If you have multiple versions of Python installed, then you can choose uh, the Python version using this drop down menu. So I'm going to leave everything as default and I'm going to just click on the create uh, button which is going to create my project. And once your project is created, you will be able to see this kind of window. So I'm going to right click on my uh, Python project and then I'm going to just create a new Python file uh, and I'm going to name it as hello.py. So let's say hello.py and then press enter which is going to create this file. And then I'm going to just uh, write a very simple script which prints hello world. So I'm going to just uh, write uh, print here and in the parenthesis I'm going to just say hello world. And if it shows this kind of warning, you can also configure your interpreter. So I'm going to just uh, click on configure interpreter and then uh, interpreter settings and it's going to open this kind of window. So I'm going to uh, just click on show all and then I can click on uh, the plus sign and then uh, from here you can choose any interpreter for now. I will just choose the system interpreter which I have and then click on OK which is going to add this interpreter here and then click on OK and once it's done I can click on apply and then click on OK which is going to add this interpreter here and once that's done I can uh, just right click on my file and then I can just click on run hello which is going to run my script and it's going to show the output on this terminal window, right? And then I can uh, edit my code, for example, and uh, then I can save the code and rerun it from here, right? And it's going to show the uh, output. Also, I have the option to open the terminal where uh, it's going to open the terminal in the current window. And then from here also, I can run this uh, file. So I can just write uh, python3 and the name of the file which is hello.py and then press enter and it's going to run my uh, program from the terminal also. I also have the python terminal so if I want to test some things in the terminal I can open this uh, python terminal and uh, then uh, I can check something for example 2 plus 2 or whatever you want to check something quickly you can open this uh, Python REPL terminal and check it very quickly, right? So this is how you can download and install PyCharm on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.